this one is very striking. It's really intense. I'm loving this little, like the lines here, that little circle. I think that's my favorite part of the painting. It kind of looks 3D. And that metallic turquoise, yay. Awesome. Now I did get a little bit of that sort of grittiness that I've read a lot of people got with the satin enamels that I hadn't gotten before. But uh, it's like sandy, but it's not, there's no texture, really. It just looks like it. And I don't think, I think it's going to dry smoothly, actually. And to be honest, I find it very interesting. Um, I'm not minding it at all. <laughs> Dude, this one is awesome. Stay tuned for the dried results and we'll see how that little bit of uh, sort of grittiness, don't know what to call it, we'll see how that dries. Alright you guys, so I'm back with the final results. This is almost two weeks later. I'm not busy at all, right? <laughs> These dried beautifully. All the colors came back up to the top. Just like I love it. Those blues look awesome. Same thing for the purple one. It's crazy how when it's wet it looks so white. And then when it dries, those colors pop back up. Love it. Now for the grittiness, I don't see it really. Sort of disappeared during the drying process, or so maybe a little, little bit left. But I mean, is that the metallic color that did that? I'm not sure, but uh, I have nothing to complain about that. I dried beautifully. Oh, there is a blue one here that you didn't see me. In case you're wondering, out of all those paints that I showed at the beginning, I did six pours and I washed off two. I showed you guys three and this one I did also um, off camera. Looks cool. It looks cool. There's just something about the cloud pours that they can be hung in so many different directions and it gives a totally different feeling. Like those two on the right look kind of good that way. But this one it looks better vertical. And they're all varnished except that blue one on the right. And maybe you can see the difference, yeah. You see there? That sort of shine, that's from the varnish. This one doesn't have any yet. It does make a huge difference. It brings out those colors. Even though they dried pretty well, you can see that. Now, one more thing before I go. I have an art show coming up and these will not be available on my website just now because um, out of all of the different techniques that I've been doing or that I've done, my cloud pours are the one that, that sells the quickest. They sell like so fast and I wanna have some for my art show. So yeah, these look awesome. Hope you guys like this. Have a good one.